welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we are going to do the open crescent fan stitch. This is a four step repeating. So there's four rows that create this. So in the first row, we create the establish one. The next one, we built it. The next one, we build it more. And then the final one, we get all the way to the full size. And then we create the mesh again to be able to build up the next one. So let's begin. If you would like to change the size of this, it's in multiples of 18 plus two. Let's begin. So let's begin. We're going to do multiples of 18 plus 2. So you just go 18, 18, 18, and at the end of it, just add two more. So uh, please do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. That is one of your fans. And so then you keep on doing 18 until you're happy and then add two at the very end. Please do that and I'll meet you on row number one. So let's go slowly across row number one. We are going to go second chain from the hook. So just go in the back loop. I think it looks nicer, but if you want a regular, then do it. And that's gonna be your edge. You are now going to chain three, skip just two on the chain and single crochet in the third one. The next three sections are part of the fan itself. So I need you to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Back down on the chain, I want you to go to the fourth chain from the hook. So this is one of three that you need to do. To do the next one, chain five again. One, two, three, four, five come on back down and go to the fourth one again and this is the middle one this is where the fan will will, will um, spray out of and then we do this one more time so one two three four five and then go to the fourth one again so these three are part of the fan so this is the very center and then these are the two on the both sides of the fan and then the next, this one and the one we're about to make is part of the buffer zone. So to do a buffer zone, you are going to chain three and skip just two on the chain and single crochet in the next. So this is one complete fan right here. So just remember one, two, three, four, five spaces. So we're gonna start a new fan section. So we're going to chain three and skip just two and go to the third. The next three spaces will be for the fan itself. So you'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip and go to the fourth one, single crochet. So that's one of three. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. Skip three and go to the fourth again. This is the middle one of a fan. And then do it again. So one, two, three, four, five, and then go to the fourth one again. So these are the three middles of the fan. So the fan will sit in the middle and then these two are part of it as well. So now we need to create a buffer zone. So we're going to chain three, skip just two, and single crochet in the next. So this is another fan done. So I need you to repeat the same sequence going all the way across. So I will just repeat it one more time. So you're going to chain three, skip just two, single crochet in the next. Now you're going to chain five and single crochet into the next uh, fourth one away. And then one, two, three, four, five, skip three and go to the fourth, and then one, two, three, four, five, skip three and go to the fourth. And now you're going to do your last buffer zone in the end, so you skip just, you, you chain three and you skip two, which will take you to the last one as your stitch. 
So that is you're going to be your repeating going all the way across. And so in my case, I have a total of three fans of, that have been created. Let's turn to work and begin row number two. So rows number two, three, four, and five are going to be are repeating through the whole thing. And you will finish on a certain row, which I will explain to you when we get there. So when you start a row number two, you're going to chain three immediately. And you are going to double crochet into the very first stitch that that's coming out of. You're now going to chain three. And you're going to look for the next chain five space, which is right here. And you are going to single crochet in. And then you are going to reach to the next space, which is the middle one of the five, of the five chains. That's the middle one. And there's going to be nine double crochets there. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You are then going to reach for the next space here in single crochet. So the center of a fan has now just been created. You are now going to chain three. So one, two, three, and there's the two buffer zones. These are the chain three spaces. You're going to go for the middle single crochet between the two of them. And you are going to apply three double crochet into that single. So we have one, two, and three. So watch how I do the next section because it's going to be the repeating all the way through. So you're going to chain three first and reach for the next chain five space and single crochet. The next chain five space is going to be nine double crochet. So let's count those. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You are now going to come to the next chain five space right here and single crochet in. And so now we're going to be that's going to be another fan that you've just created. And so now you'll chain three. And you're looking for the two chain three spaces. It's in between. It's the single in between those two. And there will be three double crochet there. So I need you to repeat this going all the way across. And I will meet you at the end of this to show you how to finish. So when you start again, chain three, single into this, and then nine and then single into the next, and then reach on over, and I'll meet you at the end of here in a moment. So just keep on going across. When you're ready for the ending, you have your nine in, your single crochet here, and then you're going to chain three, and in the very last turning chain here, you are going to apply just two double crochets into the turning chain. So we have one and two. And so now you've just established where the fans are and where the buffer zones are in between. And now we're going to move on to row number three. So let's turn our work. To begin row number three, you're going to chain up one and then see the two first double crochets, just place in one single crochet in each of those. Before you move on, chain one, and you're gonna to come to the very first double crochet that makes up the fan and you were going to double crochet into that. And before you can move on, you need to chain one and then come to the next one and double crochet. And you're gonna do this all the way across the top of the fan. So chain one and come into the next one. So there will be a total of nine double crochets with chain one spaces between them.
make sure you get every one of them. So chain one and come into my very last one. So that you should total count of this should be nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Chain one after it. And then you were gonna come into the top of the three double crochets that are in the buffer zone between, and you're just gonna apply one single in each. I think the thing that I was doing when I was practicing is what I was forgetting in this uh, row is that you make sure you chain one after you're out of the center here and when you were starting as well. And then just make sure that you start and you double crochet with chain ones in between. So I'll, I'll be quiet and I'll do it. and I'm coming into my ninth. So before I join over here, just chain one, and then just single crochet in the tops of these. So I need you to do this all the way across, and I'll see you towards the end of the row, where I'll show you how to finish. When you get to the end of the row, make sure you chain one after the last double crochet comes in the fan, and then the two last stitches here, there will be a single crochet in each. So there's one in the top of that double, and then one in the top of the turning chain. And then that completed that row. So turn your work and let's do the next one. To do the next row, you are just going to start and chain one and single only into the first one. You are then going to reach over to the first one that double crochet that's part of the fan. And what you want to do is pay attention to the fifth one. The fifth one is where the game changes. So reach on over and put a double crochet in the top of the other double crochet and then a chain one after it and then double crochet in the next double, and then a chain one. Double into the next, chain one. And after you get the fourth one in, you're still going to chain one, and the fifth one right here is going to be a V stitch. So it'll be a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the same stitch. And now you're gonna come down the other side. So chain one to start, come into the next double, chain one. So be very conscious of where that V-stitch is going and make sure it's the middle one. And you will notice after you have this done, you don't chain one like you were in the last round or row. So just after this last double crochet, just reach over to the middle single crochet that's in the buffer zone and single crochet in. And that's what it would look like. So let's do another one. So we reach over to the first one and we just double crochet and then chain one. And we're looking for the fifth one before we put that V stitch in. Okay, the fifth one is next. It's right here, it's part of the middle and I can also see it. And it's a double chain one and a double into the same stitch and then come on down this side. So chain one before you start, and then double into the double, chain one, and keep on going. So you don't chain one after the very last one, just keep that in mind. And then you reach on over to the middle single crochet and single in there. Please do this all the way across and I'll meet you at the ending of this row. Once you're on your last fan, then uh, one of the double crochets here, you just reach on over it and just single crochet into the very last stitch. And that will complete this. So whenever you're done this project, this row here should be the very last row that you do. So now we're going to turn our work and we're going to start up a new foundation row, which is these empty spaces again, which then will create the idea again so that you can do rows two, three, four, five, and et cetera, and keep on going. Let's begin that. To start anew, you're going to chain six. This will count as a double crochet and a chain three space. So one, two, three, there's a double crochet, and then four, five, six is a chain space. Just remember that for the future. I want you to come in and you're looking for the fans and I want you to look for the third one. So this is one, two, and three, and single crochet into the third one. 
and then I want you to chain five. So these chain fives, the next three of them, are going to be the starting of a new fan coming up. So one, two, three, four, five. And I want you to single crochet into the space before the V-stitch, right there. Chain five again, this is the middle fan. And come into the space after the V-stitch. Now you're going to continue again and you're doing chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And you have to reach over and count it back from this way. So one, two, and three. And the third one is where you're going to put the next single crochet in. So these three are the center points of your next VR fan that will come in. So now we're in the buffer zone. So I need you to chain three. So one, two, th three. And I want you to double crochet into the middle single crochet that is down here. Chain three and start a new fan. So you're going to come to the third one. So count it one, two, and three. This is your buffer zone between. And now you're going to create the three spaces that make up a fan. So one, two, three, four, five come into the space before the V stitch. So there's the V, come into the space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and come into the space after the V stitch. Chain five. And then count it back from this way. So one, two, and third one right there. And now you're going to head to the buffer zone. So chain only three. Single into the single crochet that's between the fans. And then start it all over again. And what you're doing is you're creating those open spaces to be able to do this again. So I'm coming up and over the last fan here. I'm chaining three. And then I'm going to double crochet into the very last stitch down here. So now you've just set yourself up. To the exactly the same thing that you did in the very beginning. The only difference is now is that you're on top of a wave. So when you go just restart the next one, you're just starting at row number two all over again. And I will just get yourself started and then you can just follow the instructions for number two because it's the same thing as what we know before. To start a row two again, you're going to chain three and then double crochet into the same one. And now you're going to chain three and you're reaching for the next chain five space and single crochet and then the next chain five space is the center so you're going to put a nine double crochet there so we have one two three four five six seven, eight, and nine. Reach for the next space, single crochet in, and then you're creating the buffer zone that we did before. So chain three, and then in the center one right here, okay, there's gonna be three double, double crochets in there. So we have one, two, and three. And so that's in the buffer zone. So you chain three again. So one, two, three, and then reach over to the next chain five space. And then put your nine double crochets into the next one. And you keep doing this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of the room. So I'm coming up to the end, I'm chaining three. And then in the, remember there was chain six here. So in the third one up is the top of that double crochet. And you are going to place in two double crochet into that chain. And so everything else has now been set up for the, what you need. And so you can just go over and over and over until the cows come home. Great idea for a shawl and et cetera, maybe even a fancy blanket. Really cool idea. You can trace this with a, a quick border if you wanted to. Maybe just some single crochets just to fill in some open spots. But other than that, I think it's a great little pattern to have. This is the Open Crescent Fan Stitch.